just finished my Sicilian lecture in the other room. And now I can talk about the chess drama. Hooray! There won't be any chess this stream, which is weird, because I always play chess. Except when I don't. Frankly, delicious. But we'll just stare looking at the chessboard for a long time. That's a good idea. I'm not sure why exactly. If you're watching on YouTube, you can watch live at twitch.tv slash GM Benjamin Feingold. Assuming my channel is stopped after this lecture. Let's see, I didn't do that. Did it like this. I did it like that. <clears throat> and wiffle ball bad and so forth. Let's check the sound. Yep, everything's good in some kind of hood. All right, no recent events. Let's see, I haven't got notified yet, so nobody knows I'm streaming. And so forth. No, people know I'm streaming. Boo, boo. We want more drama. That's true. Yeah. More drama is something. Hooray. Yay, zero viewers. Yeah. Yeah. Kara might come say hi for a minute. We both had a long day. <laughs> Uh, Farnsley69 gifted a sub. Hooray. Thanks, Farnsley. And then Reptar Rules subscribed. Good, good. Everything's better than perfect. The more noises, the better. And so forth. It's been a quiet day except for one thing. The noisiest day ever. Uh, pro pronoun to subscribe with Prime. Hooray! Joey Joe Jr. Shabadoo subscribed. Hooray! Appleside subscribed. Hooray! So I, I never realized something until today. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I probably should have realized it years ago, but I don't watch a lot of streams. So... I didn't realize that the train can be set differently for what level it's on. Because I was watching like Eric stream and people would gift like 20 subs and that barely helped the level at all. If that was on my stream, that would be like three or four levels. That wouldn't even be the end of a level on theirs. So they have, we, we, must, we must have like four or five subs to a level and they probably have like 20 or 30. I didn't realize that, that you could do that, but I don't really know anything. So, uh, somebody rated, what, who rated? Resign it says Stein it's subscribed, collecting bullet subscribed. Grandmaster Gus rated with a party of 10. Why do we have 500 viewers if he rated with a party of 10? Those must be ten, a lot of 10 people. 300 cents to do is Gus raid. PPG Freddy subscribed with Prime. Hanson. Man, Hanson got more subs when I was watching for an hour than I get in like six months. God damn. People were donating 150 subs while, uh, you know, while uh, something. Like it was nothing. Like they were giving away water. Although bottle water is expensive. So. Yay, now we're back to no viewers. That's better. Yeah. Um, all right. I mean, people that, that Morphe fan to spill the beans, 100 cent to do's. You're viewing. Yeah. 100 cent to do's. Apple side. Okay. So probably the best stream I've ever seen in my life, and I ain't no probably about it, was Eric Hansen's stream today. If you're able to watch it by going to, you know, either YouTube or Twitch, you watch the stream, the whole stream. And um, that was a great stream. That was, you know, he should get a million dollars for that stream. And um, then later I saw Naroditsky's stream and that was, you know, shallow and pedantic. Fraud was subscribed and even Chess Bay was on, was on the Naroditsky stream. So terrible. Um, thanks Fraud with for the sub. Yeah, I mean, the Hanson stream is the best stream I've ever seen on, on Twitch. 
Yeah, about anything. Um, um, yeah, 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 the more you sub, the more, yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll start at the beginning. Well, I can't start at the beginning because the beginning is like when Hikaru was born. So we'll just, we'll skip to, we'll skip to three days ago. Yeah. Okay. So th this you'll actually get like what actually happened. On most sites, they don't really tell you what happened, but I know what happened. And I'm going to tell you what happened. So a few days ago, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, uh, trying to learn, um, had one of his videos striked. And, you know, he was mad, obviously, by you know, Akaru. And it was the same kind of video as Eric's stream. It's, you know, there's streams going on and you show them and so forth. Um, and it's different than, thanks for the subs. Thanks, everybody. There, there, there's two ways that people use other people's streams. One is in connection with other things that are going on. So for example, Hikaru likes to do reaction videos. So he turns on somebody else's stream from two days ago. They talk for 20 seconds. And then Hikaru says, okay, here's what I think about that. Okay, he does that all the time. Okay, and... The other kind of videos where you're taking somebody else's content is you just take their content and put it on your channel. All right. Now that's frowned upon to just take somebody's video and then put it on your channel. Like, there you go. That's, that's not allowed. However, if you use somebody else's video in connection with other videos and commentary and editing, and you're trying to, you know, give a, you're trying to show something, that's different, called fair use. And what fair use is and what fair use isn't is unclear. And it would depend what lawyer you get, what lawyer they get, uh, who you happen to talk to on YouTube that day, who the judge is. You could get any kind of ruling from anybody. And people on the internet claim to know what it is, but a lot of it is just random, right? They're like, well, that's fair use, that's not fair use. And then if you took 50 judges, they could be split 25-25 as to what fair use is. That's neither here nor there. Um, so in the instances we're talking about with the chess streamers, such as myself, Hansen, Nakamura, uh, Eric Rosen, uh, probably almost any big streamer, Botez sisters probably, is you do some kind of collaboration streams or you take your stream and somebody else's stream, especially if you're playing them. Uh, people love that. Or you take bits of their stream and you make a commentary. And I've never had, nobody ever has a problem with that. What we have a problem with <clears throat> is when somebody that nobody knows, not a grandmaster, not a streamer, just takes a video and puts it on their channel. And then that's the video. That You can't do that. Okay, but, you know, if Akaru takes part of my video and I go, rawr, and Akaru says, yeah, Ben's an idiot. Yeah, nobody cares about that. And, you know, if Eric Rosen does that, Eric Hans, whatever, nobody cares. Okay. And so everybody does that. And if you had to, if I had to guess... I don't know. Who does it the most? Probably Hikaru. Does the most of, let's take a look at this, and then I'm going to make a commentary on it. Okay. And nobody ever says anything because it's, you know, it's good, it's good TV, you know, whatever. <clears throat> it's interesting. And out of the blue, he copyright striked trying to learn. Then he copyright striked our channel. Then he copyright striked chess pro channel now in my opinion if he was actually upset about the videos he should say hey take those videos down i'm upset about those and then we would take them down and that would be the end of it or we would not take them down and say like what you talking about bitch and then he could copyright strike us which seems reasonable. He told us to take it down. 
We didn't take it down. And he's like, I'll show you. All right. It's weird that your first, your first action is to copyright strike another chess streamer, especially since <clears throat> Eric and Nakaru and I are all, and I don't know about trying to learn, are, are chess.com streamers. We like all work for chess.com, sort of. I guess chess.com works for a car, but um, the weird part about it is, you know, Hikaru doing that kind of stuff is just normal and everybody does it. Nobody cares. All of a sudden I care now, like iced tea. And that's the part I'm upset about is not whether we should get copyright striked or not, but that it was unnecessary. He could have said, Hey, Eric, I don't want you using me in the videos anymore. Take it down. And then if Eric says, I'm not going to take it down. And he says, well, we're going to do a copyright strike. And he's like, all right, do one. Okay, then that's, that's where that would be. Then you could argue who's right. I don't like this heavy-handed St. Louis chess club kind of, you know, get rid of your channel. Okay, now that's the part I don't like. Now, obviously, for people who make a lot of videos and do a lot of streaming, like me... Karu, Botez Sisters, Hansen. There's other people that are doing the technical work, okay? And people on YouTube are like, Ben, why'd you do this and why'd you do that? I don't do nothing. I sit here, say idiotic things, and you guys give me money. And I drink a lot of Perrier. That's what I do, okay? Hikaru does what he does. Hansen does what he does. Botez does what they do. But they don't, they're not... We have teams of people that do stuff, okay, that do stuff that's technical. I don't do the technical stuff, okay? I'm, I'm the talent. I get Perrier, and that's, that's it. I, I, get to, I, get, I get to sleep with the director, okay? I, so if you say, like, Hikaru, why'd you do that? And Hanson, why'd you do that? They didn't do nothing, right? They're, now, the question is whether they know about it. So... This is what Hans is mad about. I'm not mad about it because I don't care. But Hansen's mad because of the lying. And I don't know if they're lying. And if I have to believe somebody, it's going to be Hansen. It could be Hansen's lying. Okay, but I'm going to say he's not. I'm going to say he's not lying. And here's the lies that Hans is mad about. Hansen's mad that <clears throat> Hikaru and Chespe and whomever runs the channel pleaded ignorance. Like, oh, we had nothing to do with the strikes against your channel. That's this company, and we didn't know, and if we had known, and blah, blah, blah. Hello. And Hansen's like, that's, that's BS. He says they definitely knew, and they told him to do it. Now, 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 Hello. If I was Hansen, I would be mad about that kind of line too, but I'm, you know. Now, yesterday, before I knew most of the stuff, I said what should happen and what probably will happen, they'll take the strike off of Hansen, but they won't off of me because they, I mean, I'm the most hated. They can't hate Hansen more than me. They should hate Hansen more than me. Mm -hmm. Normally, in... No. I, I've known Hikaru for over 20 years, even though he was only like eight. I mean, I've known Hikaru forever. Hikaru, if he doesn't like you, if he doesn't like you, if, I'm a very unusual case. And the reason it's unusual is I'm not a threat to him. Okay? Hikaru doesn't like, well, I'm off the internet. Really? Yeah. Darn. I'm off the internet. I don't know what to do about that. So I'm only off the internet here, but not here. Okay, so I, I was off chess.com for a second, but I was never off here. Oh, okay. All right. I'm not doing anything either. Okay. No, no. Yeah. So Hikaru, for example, over the last 15 years has disliked Komsky. He's disliked Wesley. He's disliked Fabi because they were threats to him. And when Komsky was no longer a threat to him, he didn't dislike Komsky anymore. But when him and Komsky were like fighting for who's the best American player, didn't like Komsky. And there's a lot of things going on like there was a tournament that Caruana played it in Reykjavik, I think. This is 10 years ago. 
And Naka's like, he's just playing in their tournaments to gain rating points. Ridiculous. I've never been so mad. When actually Hikaru played a tournament in Japan to do the same thing. But I mean, he just, it was a tournament. There was a lot of grandmasters. I mean, so he tries to find things that are negative about people that are in his, you know, realm. I'm not in his realm. I'm not going to beat him at Blitz. I'm not going to beat him at Bullet. I'm not going to beat him at Rapid. I'm not going to beat him in a slow game. I'm not going to have as many followers on Twitch. I'm not going to have as many subs. So him hating me is un unusual, okay? He specifically hates me because I say bad stuff about him, and I'm not afraid of Chess Bay and him and Chess.com like everybody else is. So if you're going to hate somebody it, for him, Chess Bra is a good person to hate. Chess Bra has more subs. Chess Bra has been streaming longer than him. And Chess Bra is a weaker player who beats him sometimes in Blitz and Bullet, which makes him furious. I never beat him, so he's not furious at me for that. He's furious for other stuff. That doesn't, I'm not going to beat him at chess. So he's a good target for Hikaru because he could beat Hikaru at chess. He's not as good. And he, he has beaten Hikaru in how many subs he has, which is surprising to me, actually. Um, and they have a past and so forth. And so the copyright strikes that Hikaru's people did were against people he doesn't like. He, doesn't like, he didn't like Eric lately. He changes his mind sometimes. He's never going to like me. And he doesn't like John, I mean, Chespe and John. Chespe hates John. Ah, damn. Okay. <laughs> damn. So there's no reason to copyright strike because you can, the threat is stronger than the execution. He could threaten. And then if he's not kowtowed to, then he could copyright strike. And by the way, just so you guys aren't too upset, uh, today uh, he unstriked um, Chespe, which is what I thought would happen. And the strike is gone. They got rid of the strike on chess bra. They're never going to take the strike off of us. So either the lawyer is going to advise us we'll fight it or won't. Okay. Now, I'll say something to Karen, which I'm sure is wrong because Bonarici said it. Yeah, trying That's, to learn equals John. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure Bonarici is wrong because he's almost About always what? everything. But <laughs> on, on Discord, he said, oh, Ben and Karen don't mind the strike as much as, 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 as Eric because it's only one strike, so that falls off after three months. It does come off after three months. Oh, so that was right? But you have to do some things, I don't oh, know, to, oh. such as um, copyright school, et cetera. It does come off, um, and it's true that we're not as concerned because two yeah. strikes put you Two strikes is much worse than, your than channel one. channel taken yeah. down. So, no, that's actually true. Now, now, our video, we were jokingly making fun of the car, which I try to do four or five times a day. Chess bra video, it just showed him that show. I mean, what? It, that, that was the car. What, what does he want? If, if, if a car looks bad, that's his own fault. You're the star of the chess bra video. That was good, yeah. Thanks for all the subs and bits you and are. stuff. Yeah. And, and, but actually, Hanson's pretty funny. His expression throughout was his bemused expression. Now, yeah. now here, here's the thing that, that I know that, that most of you don't, even though I say it on every stream. Before Twitch existed and before chess people knew Twitch existed, like it existed and we didn't know. Like the, I, I knew what Twitch was when nobody was on Twitch. Somebody in St. Louis showed me. And I was like, whatever, this is like when it started. And I'm like, yeah, who cares? Before that happened, everybody knows everybody. I've known Eric Hansen since I was higher rated than him and he was an IM. I've known Hikaru since he was a little kid. Okay, I've known Hikaru's stepdad way before Hikaru was born. Way before Hikaru was born. Everybody knows everybody for years and years and years and years. The people who complain the most in the chat are people who joined Twitch a week ago. They're like, oh man, I love Hikaru. And the other guy's like, oh man, I love Ben. The other guy's like, oh man, I love Chess Bra. So now you just like, that's all you know. Okay, but there's a history. Everybody knows everybody. And I mean, Eric was pretty mean today. You know, he said Hikaru has no friends. Everybody hates Hikaru. I didn't think he was mean. I, I, I mean... I mean, I'm not disagreeing he's with him, blunt, but, but I mean, you know, and then he said, everybody has an Akaru story. 
I have 150 Hikaru stories, which are like not appropriate to tell on the stream, right? They're personal, you know. Oh yeah, I mean, he did. The, oh yeah, he did say that. Okay, maybe that was. I mean, the most hated GM in the world. I forgot he said. Right. That. No, I mean the things that Eric said were true, but no, some of them were just like mean. Like he's just saying them to like, ah, I hate Hikaru. All right, and he was mad at Hikaru because, and he's mad at Hikaru for a different reason than I am. Hikaru is not a good person. He's a bad person. A really good chess player. Hikaru punched Howell. <laughs> Sorry. Like he didn't punch Howell. There's. Oh. Yeah. I. I w one thing. This has nothing to do with anything. I just I keep thinking of it because of the events today. When Akara was a kid, at the I was there at the World Open. Another kid punched him in the face, and uh, his stepdad got that kid kicked out of the tournament. But you know. Hikaru's been not liked by a lot of people since he was a kid. Like that's, I know. Thanks, Polar Bear ABC, for the 20 subs and everybody else that I missed. I don't agree with you about Eric, Gavin. Yeah, no, but... Okay, Eric, now, in real life, forget about Twitch. Eric Hansen's, like, the nicest guy I ever met. Okay, maybe Amon's nicer. Okay, and Hikaru's just super toxic. Okay, that's the way Hikaru is. He's always been like that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that he did anything wrong this time, but he did do something wrong. If if for some reason the whole Twitch, YouTube, everything changed in his mind, like don't touch my videos, can't touch this MC Hammer or Peter Griffin, then he should just say, okay, Ben, I'm trying to learn, everybody else, listen. Don't take my videos. Don't use them. If you do, then great vengeance and furious anger. Then we would do it at our own risk. Then we might not do it. Then if we did it and he striked us, he warned us. But to, to strike me, he hates me. Chess Bay hates trying to learn. But to strike Eric Hansen, I, that's, I, I mean, it's, I've never been so mad. And the thing that Eric is mad about, which I'm not, you know, I don't have the 100% of the information, is the lying that, you know, Chespe and Nakara were all innocent. How did this happen when he says they orchestrated it? So obviously, if Eric's right, then they're just lying and, and you know, that's obviously in the past they lie and lie and lie. That's that's what they do. Mm -hmm. And you know, people people dislike me for different reasons than they dislike Hikaru, the people who do dislike me. And I don't I don't dislike Hikaru for Twitch stuff. I don't dislike Hikaru for his chess play. I don't dislike Hikaru for his channel. I, I just dislike Hikaru from, I've known him for 25 years. I, I, you know, eh, maybe 20. I mean, he's not, he's not somebody you want to yeah, hang out with. Um, but yeah, I mean, th th this, this episode reminds me of when St. Louis was threatening a Gadmator. It's very similar. The Gadmator used like 10 seconds of their footage of a of standings. It was standings. He's like, these are the standings of the event. This guy has eight, this guy has seven. And they're like, those are our standings and we're going to get rid of your channel. And I, I mean, they don't know who Ag Gadmator is in St. Louis. They do now. But the people who were threatening him didn't know who he was. I mean, he's more popular than they are. So eventually they backed down. He said, like, I, I used your thing for like 10 seconds in a... 20 minute video and it was standings. I'm not, it's fair use. And they're like, yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no. They, if you guys remember, yeah, if, if you guys remember the again made or St. Louis thing, if you don't look it up. Yeah. But this is similar. It, it's, it's different because these guys know each other forever. They're both grandmasters. They're both chess.com streamers. So to do a copyright strike is ridiculous. And they probably realized that it was ridiculous so they lied and said, oh, we didn't know anything about it. And that's why I think if if Eric believed them and knew they were right, he would be much less upset. But he thinks they're lying and they orchestrated it and they knew everything. And so now he's furious about the, the lying after the fact. I don't know because I, I don't know. And if I have to believe somebody, who do you think I'm going to believe? And that's, you know, I know who to believe. So anyway, I think for Eric, it's over as far as the strike is over. And when did the well, strike, when was the strike removed? Today. 
I know, but what time? Oh, I don't know. I was wondering if it happened while he was maybe streaming. Maybe. So if that's um, the case, then Hikaru had not seen all that Eric said. <laughs> so maybe he'll regret removing it. Is all I'm wondering. It was while he was streaming. Yeah. So he had not seen all that. <laughs> All that Eric said. Hey, by the way, fluorescent potato. I did see that video of the fight. There's there's a, there's it. a longer video. Oh, there is. There's a longer video where you see him playing blitz and so, there's more. This yeah. Is part of the same. It's the same thing, but it's more. There's oh, more somebody video. Somebody send me the link. I have it How on my you, phone. Oh, send me. Yeah. I didn't even know about it. Well, that's why I'm streaming. I'm you know I'm the talent. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes or now, Bobby or something. Now, by the way, that video is apropos of nothing. That. I'm low volume. See, yeah. one, one thing, yeah, I'm really loud. One thing that, that I don't like about the Hikaru response to Eric's complaining is he is, and Eric pointed this out, is not responding to the allegations, okay? Eric said, you copyright strike me and what are you doing? And then he's like, yeah, but seven years ago you did that. How does, how does that the, the fight is just funny. It has nothing to do with the situation here. That fight was years ago. That was two or three years ago. It has nothing to do with this situation. It's just like a funny aside. Now, according to, to Chespera, Hikaru mentioned that he had a drinking problem. Chespera? Hey, Brucia. Hey, Brucia Webb, Chess Bay's biggest fan. How's it going? I mean, uh... Carl, Carl shouldn't be saying anybody has a drinking problem. Let's put it that way. Yeah, that's not something he should be saying about other people. Terrible. Yeah, I don't think Carl has a drinking problem now, but if you're going to talk about drinking problems in the past, you got to shut the hell up. That's what he has to do. I loved all the chess, all, all uh -oh. the chess Bay history that yeah. Hanson told him. Hanson actually knows who chess Bay is. He's met chess Bay. We don't know who she is. Yeah, Karen was convinced for a long time it wasn't a woman, but everybody says it's a woman. So, well, Nick Barton convinced me that. Right. Well, I mean, he, it's a woman because I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. But I mean, we don't know who she is. We don't care who she is. But I agree with everything that Eric said on his stream. But you know, it's, a lot of it's just mean. I could say a lot of mean things that make Hikaru look bad, and you know, I say them in jest on the streams. But I don't say what really happened. I don't say really why. You know. You've been I mean, plenty of times. Yeah. No, no, but not, I don't say, no, no, but I don't, I don't say this, this, this. I just make like a joke. No, you've been. I mean, I got, I got a lot of stuff. You've definitely been mean. I got, no, no. If you want to be mean, I can be mean. Nah. If you want to be mean, you'll see what mean is. But anyway, the point is, whether Hikaru's your favorite person who ever lived or you don't like him, Hanson, me, doesn't matter. What matters is, we're chess.com streamers. We're grandmasters. We're black actors. You can't, you you can't like copyright strike. Mm. Can't do that. You don't you don't do that. If 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 you're going to copyright strike, you threaten. You'd be like, take that stuff down. It makes me look bad, or I just don't want you to do it. And then we would be confused because he does all the time. And then you know I don't know what we would have done. I I have no say in it. Karen would make a decision. And then I don't know if Eric would decide or his people would. But to just like out of the blue say, okay, your channel's almost gone. I mean, that's that's absurd. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's yeah, terrible. Yeah, b black actors, right? <laughs> yeah, they have a lot of viewers. Considering I'm just like waxing idiotic. So, <laughs> so I like, karaoke in two yeah, seconds. yeah, yeah. So it it doesn't matter. Like if you if you're on Team Hikaru or Team Chespra or Team Me, that doesn't matter. What matters is. Hikaru and his people or whatever, they shouldn't be trying to get rid of the Chess Bros YouTube channel. That's not, if they have a problem, you settle the problem. You don't get rid of their YouTube channel. That's, I, I, that's, that's ridiculous, right? And it's, and it's because, you know, like he's mad at them or something. He doesn't like Eric or whatever, okay? I, I, mean, I can't ridiculous. imagine he's going to say the hands and stream. And feel good about his decision to remove the strike. But maybe I'm wrong. I mean, if he doesn't like Eric, or he doesn't like the chess bras, or he doesn't like the video, he could say, hey, I don't like that video. My team is going to take that video down. I'll let you take it down first. 
And then, you know, I don't know what happened. It'd be a different story, though. The threat is stronger than the execution. But, I mean, the first thing you do is to almost get rid of their YouTube channel. So the, so the question is, let's say Eric's right. Let's say... Oh, he is. Let's say he's right. Mm -hmm. Let's say that Hikaru and Chespe knew that their company was going to copyright strike their video. Okay, let's pretend. They know. Okay, and she says, I believe it too, but I don't know. But then <clears throat> then what happened where they, they unstriked it? So... Public pressure. No, no, no. I know, I know what happened. But if I was Hikaru... What would I say now? The only thing he can say is, oh, we didn't know, and as soon as we found out, we unstriked it. What else could he say? I think he's already saying that. Right, but what else could he say? What, what could he say? Oh, there was a lot of public pressure making me look bad, so we unstriked it? I mean, what's he going to say? So, like, the, the lie has to continue. So it's, it's the truth hurts. Hikaru's been in a lot of fights with a lot of people, and nobody's trying to kill Hikaru. They just, you know, he's drunk a lot, so, you know. Hikaru is not in a fight when he's not intoxicated. That's not, you know, he's not like looking for fights. When he's intoxicated, maybe he's looking for fights. That's, you know. Okay, and then and then there's other grandmasters like Timur Gureyev also getting into fights, also intoxicated. It's more of an intoxication thing than a I'm looking to fight thing. But when they're intoxicated, they're looking to fight. That's, some people are like that. Unless he's totally passed out. And being carried out of the chess club, and like unconscious, also could happen. I'm not saying it did happen, but it did. So, mm -hmm. right. The problem is, most people who watch Hikaru's stream, they've they've known Hikaru for ten minutes. They haven't known Hikaru for twenty years, and Hikaru's really, 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 really good at blitz and bullet. God damn, really good. I mean, so his chess stream is great when it's just chess. But yeah, obviously, if you've decided I'm the greatest chess streamer, I'm the most important chess streamer, I'm going to get rid of everybody else's stream, that's not good. But I mean, man, he's good at chess. I mean, he's so good. And so it's too bad that he's such a toxic person. Wow, well, he's a and, toxic, and, 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 and evil human. Eric, conversely, gave up his chess career for streaming. Eric was like getting better at chess and he was young and so forth. And if Eric never streamed in his life and just played in GM tournaments and super GM tournaments, probably would have got to 2,700 feet a and been top 50 in the world. That's my opinion. But once he decided streaming 24 seven, he gave up his over the board chess career to be a top streamer. And Hikaru, was already one of the top players in the world. And he came to the streaming game later when he realized it was more money. That's, you know. Hey, so listen. Yeah. Can it's I... all, it's always Eric Hansen. It's never Eric Rosen. Never. <laughs> They're just joking. No, they don't know. They, I say, I say Eric. They, they, they have to know. They no, no, they don't know. They know. No. Well, because it's funny. Well, anyway, I have to go to karaoke now. Yeah. So, but have a nice stream. Mm-hmm. And, um... I guess the final thing I want to say on is we're just still waiting to hear about our copyright strike. But hopefully we'll get an answer and can make decisions. Yeah, and here's what was wrong with... I didn't see... I saw one minute of Naroditsky's stream. One minute today. But I'll tell you what was wrong with the whole stream. Even though I saw one minute of it. He's trying to do a yasser and like make peacemaker. Everybody get along, kumbaya. Okay, you have a situation here where one guy's 99.9% .9 at fault and one guy's 0.1% at fault and Naroditsky's like, let's all be friends. Aww. Okay. That's not a bad thing. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe it's not. <clears throat> okay, but, well, but but I mean, you know, you got to take the part of your blame in causing all this problem. This problem has been caused for years and years and years. And what happens is the gawking rabble who come to Twitch and don't know about real life, they're like, hmm. Nakamura is the best player in the world. So that means Hansen and Feingold just are jealous of him. That's what it is. That's, that's why they don't like him. Case closed. And as Hansen pointed out, everybody has a Nakamura story. He has, you know, he has a lot of, got a lot of issues. There's a lot of people Hikaru doesn't like and vice versa. 
Now, I'll tell you a personal story because, <clears throat> um, you know, it's me. Thanks for all the whatever you guys are doing. I know. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Enjoy the stream. Yeah. Okay. See so you. in 2011, well, for, let, let me go back even more. Yeah. In 2010, Hikaru, uh, I was working at the St. Louis Chess Club and... Tony Rich, who was the executive director, said to me, Ben, I want the St. Louis Open, the tournament they were having, to be really strong. So get a lot of strong players here. And I said, okay. So I, you know, I, we worked together, and it was really strong. The St. Louis Open was really strong. Hikaru played. Hess played. All the best women in the country played. Um, Alejandro played. I mean, at that time, I was the only grandmaster in St. Louis. And I had been there for five months. And we had 10 grandmasters and then, like, the best women. Really strong tournament. I did very poorly. Hikaru drew um, Irina Zenyuk, who was, like, 2,300. But he ended up tying for first by winning the rest of his games. Josh Friedel. Anyway, it was a great tournament. Everybody had a good time. Really good tournament. And when the tournament ended, Hikaru went up to me and he said, Ben, I want to move to St. Louis and make that happen. So I went to Rex and I said, Hikaru wants to move here. Obviously, you have to hook him up. And he said, what should we do? And I said, I think this. And, and Rex said, I agree. And when I told Hikaru, it's the biggest smell you ever saw. <laughs> I got Hikaru a lot of money. A lot of money. <clears throat> anyway, and he moved to St. Louis, St. Lu wore the St. Louis garb, go St. Louis, played in the U.S. championships. Everybody started moving to St. Louis, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Me and Hikaru were like, that, son. And then in 2011, he went to the Tall Memorial in Moscow, and I went as his second, even though Kasparov was his second. So he had two seconds. And that was the tournament he fired Kasparov because they weren't getting along. It's a cult of personality clash. They're just, they're big personalities. They needed secretaries. They needed, Hikaru needed somebody to talk to somebody that would talk to Kasparov. That's what needed to happen was Hikaru needed people and Kasparov needed people and they needed to communicate and then things would have worked out a lot better. But instead, it was Kasparov talking to Naka or not talking to Naka. And they were both furious. Naka was more furious, I think. And it ended there. He got, thank you, see ya. He got mad at me. I can't tell you why. <clears throat> and, um, and, okay, and then, you know, whatever. We're still, we're still acquaintances for years. I've been in a car for years. But you know, the problem with the Karu is he, he, he causes a lot of toxic things to happen, which perhaps I do, and then denies it and says he's innocent. Okay. It's very like Trumpish behavior, which I've pointed out on another stream. Now, Hikaru hates Trump. Hikaru thinks Trump is the worst. He's right about that. Hikaru's right. But Hikaru acts like Trump. He's like, I'm important. And if there's any issue, it's your fault. I'm innocent. What, what did I do wrong? And I mean, there's so many things I could tell you, but I, I probably shouldn't tell you. I mean, it's just terrible. There's a, there's a girl at our chess club who's like 12. She was at chess camps here. Man, does she hate Hikaru. God damn. I mean, how does a 12-year-old hate a super GM? But, and then the answer is always, well, she met him. So, yeah. So the thing is, a lot of people have problems with Hikaru that are pre-Twitch. And, you know, whatever. He's 2,800, so it doesn't matter. Like, he gets a pass. I mean, 
he's he plays great. What are you going to do? So, I mean, if you look at Bobby Fischer objectively, that's not a good guy. That's a terrible person. Frankly, terrible. Bobby Fischer is a terrible person. Horrible. Okay? But he's so good at chess, eh, you know, give him a pass. You know. And this is what happens with sports figures. Kobe Bryant, not a good person, but good at basketball, so you guys all give him a pass. You guys are like, eh, he's good at basketball, so I guess he's a good person. I mean, okay, that's what you guys do. You know? So even though we're also grandmasters, me and Eric, he, he gets a pass because he's a Karu. He, 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 he can beat Magnus. He can beat anybody. He can win any tournament. He can win a million games in a row. He could be 3,500. You know, if a car was rated 1,100, he'd be getting his ass kicked every day. He'd, be get, he'd get beat up by a different person every day. But, you know, he's 3,500, so he get a pass. So that's, and the thing is, if you speak out against, you know, chess.com or Hikaru or Chess Bay or whoever, that could cost you. Okay, I don't give a fuck, but most people do. So they want to be on their good side, even when they don't agree with them. So, you know, we, we hold our tongue and, you know, I, I mean, I still want to watch Hikaru play Blitz and Bullet. I mean, you know, he's good at chess. Fisher was good at chess. But Fisher was terrible. Fisher's a terrible person, but man, he's good at chess. God damn. Also, the people who are impressed with Hikaru and his channel who don't really play chess, you know, the XQC people, they're just like Hikaru and they're fanboys and stuff and cult of personality. They don't even understand how good Hikaru is at chess or Fisher or anybody or Kasparov, but I do. You guys don't understand either. But Hansen does. It's it's much more impressive than you can believe, like how good these people are. I mean, you guys think Andrew Tang is good? Whoa, horrible. Andrew Tang is good at thirty second chess. God damn. But I'm I'm talking about you know, actual chess. Uh, you know, slow chess and calculating and figuring it out and having twenty eight hundred performances. So, you know, we're huge fans of Akaru's chess, but not the person. But we he gets a pass. And he's gotten 500 passes, but when he goes after your livelihood, it's hard to give him a pass. He didn't go after our livelihood. He, we got a strike, whatever. It's not going to, I don't, you know, I don't even care. But I don't care. I literally, okay. But you can't, you can't get rid of the Chess Bra YouTube channel. He, he, that had to be fixed right away. That's, that's absurd. Even if he hates Eric Hansen, you, you can't get rid of the, you know. So that was, that was a very bad miscalculation on that part. Now, I predicted yesterday that strike would eventually get taken down, and our strike never would. So far, I'm right. If, if Hikaru's channel says, take that strike away from Ben, I would be shocked, even though he took it away from Eric, because I'm a special case. He hates me a different way than he hates other people. This is a, a serious hate, because I'm not a threat to him chess-wise. So, got to hate somebody. Um, what happened in Moscow? Some things that happened in Moscow, I, I can't talk about. No, Hikaru saying, hit one, you little bitch, to Magnus, that's like one of the funniest things ever. That was great. Yeah. And Magnus has a good sense of humor, so I think he liked that too. Yeah. No, I'm not playing today. No. He hates me because he knows me. Yeah. That's exactly. Yeah. Yeah. On ICC, which is another chess server, about, I don't know how long ago it was ago, over 10 years ago, I guess. In, in Magnus Carlsen's finger notes, there was only one note. It said, Hikaru tells you, hit one, you little bitch. That's, that's, that's great. And so forth. Yeah. And so on. But I don't know who Chess Bay is, and I never will know. Yeah. Oh, Hikaru doesn't like me. God damn. I think 75% of Hikaru not liking me is me not liking him 
and making it known and making fun of him and not kowtowing to him in chest bay. That's reasonable. I don't blame somebody for not liking me if I don't like them. Other 25%? A lot of people don't like me. That's okay. Does Shanklin like me? I don't think Shanklin actively dislikes me. I think Shanklin's in his own world. Yeah, Shanklin just studies chess and plays chess. I don't think he's he's thinking about who he likes and doesn't like. Yeah. I think Hikaru thinks about that a lot. Like, you know, should I ban these people? And should I be friends with these people? And should I like this streamer? And should I hate this streamer? I don't think Shanklin thinks about that. Ten dollars. I, I never heard of the Ali Reza strike against Chesbra, but Chesbra said he thinks it was just an error. Like, that was a mistake. I don't know. That's what he thought. He thought it was just like an innocent mistake. So, yeah. Anyway, you know, I've always been the most hated chess streamer. And then when the stuff happened with XQC and BoxBox and Akaru, then I really got hated by, you know, everybody, even people who liked me. And then it's now because of this stuff with chess bra and, you know, the lying and all that. Now, you know, he's, he, you know, Hikaru's fighting for first. Hikaru's always fighting for first. He was clear second. Now he's might, might surpass me. And then, you know, in the real world, that's not Switch. I, I'm not hated, you know, like, you know, certain other people. You know, in the real world, grandmasters are all just cordial to each other. But, you know, and Carl doesn't like a lot of people. Morphe never blunders, 400 cent to do's. Yeah, Ali Reza seems like he just likes everybody. Yeah. I've never met Levy in real life. So I don't know. I, I've never seen Levy. Unless I have and I didn't know it, which is possible. I might have saw Levy at a world open and didn't know it was him. That could have happened. Yeah, I, I, I mean, you know, it hasn't been a lot of chess lately because of uh, COVID and stuff. Yay, 3,000 viewers. See, I play chess so badly, I get more viewers when I don't play chess. That's, you know. Yeah. Why does Levy take Hikaru's crap like he does? I mean, that's the thing I don't like about Levy, but that's, you know, it's a good financial decision. More stories. No, if, if you suck up to the right people, then, you know, and I have a reputation that I don't suck up. I mean, when I quit the St. Louis Chess Club, I mean, there was, it was shockwaves around the world. Thanks, Gray Marmalade, for the 5,000 cent to do's. Although, I don't, there it is. Thanks for the gifted subs. There's too many people to thank. I'm making too much money today. So... <clears throat> I worked for the St. Louis Chess Club and I was very well paid, very well paid. And I was very well treated, very well treated. And the tournament where I won way more than any other tournament and way more, even now, uh, I was teammates with Akaru. Me and Akaru were like that, son. The Kings versus Queens in 2011. It was five men against five women, five games of rapid, and five games of 960. I made a lot. I made more money that tournament than most of you make in a year. And, and Akaru made more. And we were teammates, and we, we crushed the women, especially him, but me too. And, you know, I've known Akaru forever. And St. Louis was really good to me. You know, financially, chess-wise, made a lot of new friends there. And after a while, you know, I, you know, it's, as a toxic person, you know, I get, I get mad and, you know, so forth. Things didn't work out. Now, it was good that I quit the St. Louis Chess Club in 2012 because when I say it was good, it was good for them. Because instead of having one grandmaster in residence, me... And then if somebody went to a chess class or a chess lesson or a video, it was me. Thanks for the $10. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second, Shanghai. 
they got Yasser, and then the floodgates opened. And now everybody's been a resident GM in St. Louis. If I didn't quit, I wonder what would have happened. I mean, because I got mad and I quit. And then I stopped being mad. So I was still doing some work for them, but it was like a contract worker. Um, and, you know, Akaru's relationship with basically everybody's up and down, sort of like Kasparov. With St. Louis, you know, they love him and it doesn't work out. You know, it's, it has nothing to do with him. It's just that's what happens and people like each other and don't, so forth. Um, Korshnoi would get very mad and then he wasn't mad anymore. So there you go. 200 cents to do's. You know, Korshnoi would be a total dick and then he wouldn't. Walter Brown was like that also. These are very intense people, very competitive people. Hikaru, Brown, Korshnoi. These aren't normal people. These are, these are special people. 2,000 sensitives. You don't get to be best in the world because you're, you know, passive and, you know, demure. You know, you got you to gotta fuck people up. That's, you know, that's, that's how you get to be that good. When Hikaru was a teenager... He was playing Brown in the National Open. I was there, and they were swearing at each other during the game. It was like move 11. I don't know why, some, you know, but they were swearing at each other, then they stopped and they kept playing. But that's, you know, that doesn't surprise me with those two. 2000, I mean, Gufa was like that too. Fedorowicz is like that. Some people have really big personalities, and they get mad easily. So that's, you know... Yeah. But I mean, this is such a common thing with the Karu that he's getting into it with somebody and it has to be smoothed over, you know. And, and as Eric pointed out, if you're like, let's say you're Team Hikaru and you're like, fuck Eric Hansen, I hate him. Okay. I love Hikaru. Go Hikaru. If that's your opinion, okay, that's fine. You have to realize who's Eric Hansen fighting with. Is Eric Hansen having beasts with other streamers and other people? Air Kansas is Canadian. You know, he has like drive-by arguments, right? So, I mean, you know, you got to have some sense about these things. If there's a huge fight between Eric and Akaro and you have to pick a side, you know, you got to pick the side of the guy who never fights anybody, not the guy who's fought everybody. That's, you know. So, you know, and obviously it's been well known for years, Hikaru needs a team. And the unfortunate part is we're American. And that's not the way... It's normally done in America. You know, when Fisher became the world champion, you know, he's like, I'm Fisher. And when, when the Soviets were the best players in the world, you know, forever, they had teams of people. Always did. And that's, that's how you get. And, and it's like that in every sport. You have to have, you know, a, a group of people, family, friends, well-wishers, accountants, PR people who get you to the top. And so... That's not Hikaru's personality. Hikaru wants to do it by himself. Hikaru believes in himself. Hikaru got to 2,800 without working with another GM. You know, he's... And, you know, he never had, like, a team of people to do stuff for him that wasn't chess-related. He did all of that. So that's, that's not good. You want to you wanna concentrate on what you're good at and have your entourage do the stuff that doesn't matter. The stuff that's, you know, too, you know. And he didn't have that for a long time. And unfortunately, in my opinion, and in most people's opinions, his, his team is led by somebody that's uh, more toxic than him. God damn. Yeah, you need like a calming, you know, you need... See, like my team is led by Karen. So I have like a Rick and Morty shirt. See? I got 3,600 viewers. I play chess and they make fun of me. And then, you know, we have a team of people led by Karen. But his team of people is led by Chess Bay. So I'm not sure if that's better than not having a team. God damn. Yeah, everybody has a team. You know, Magnus has a team of people. You got to have your people. And it's funny. My, my dad was a big boxing fan. And my mom was always like horrible, punching in the face, you know, bleeding, horrible. And my dad said, somebody's got to pay for these entourages, right? 
So the guys box, and now you got like 10, 20 guys who are getting paid. Three dollars. Yeah. Right? So guys are punching each other, but as a consequence, a lot of people are getting paid. Right? And it's sort of like in music. You gotta have your posse with you, right? Madonna mis misheard what I said. I said posse. And you know, people getting paid, right? So when you're a super grandmaster, you, you gotta have your people with you. And that's not Hikaru's personality. Hikaru like wants to study on his own, wants to win on his own, and he believes in himself. And you know, that's 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 America. And that's not you know, that's not the best, you know, it's good to have a team of people who are, you know, help, you know. And basically his team was his stepdad, because his stepdad's a good chess player, knows everybody, and would hook him up. And he trusted his stepdad. You know, even like Kasparov was firing his seconds saying that they were cheating. You know. So that's, I mean, he never had the good support group of people that you need to be one of the best players in the world and stay there and, and be beloved. And that's not Eric Hansen's, you know, school. Eric Hansen's, you know, he's a lot better than me, but he's not top 50 in the world. You know, he's all right. Et cetera. Favorite Tony Miles story? Well, Karen's favorite's when he laid on the stretcher. You have to ask Nigel for more Tony Miles stories. He knows more than I do. Yeah, Tony died way too young. Tony was another loner. He didn't want to have, uh, you know, probably that's why Miles wasn't, you know, top 10 in the world for a long time. Because uh, he didn't have a team of people. Yeah, I mean, Tony liked to do it his own way. I mean, there's a lot. These guys are huge personalities. And the thing is, Eric Hansen really isn't a big personality. Eric Hansen's like a chill guy. He's like, you know, he's a grandmaster. He's like me, but he's better. You know, he's not, you know, I'm going to be the top five in the world and I'm going to win every event and I'm going to take over the internet. You know, he's just like, he's chill. He's Canadian. If I heard of you, Dawson, I've played you, Dawson, more than once. Yeah. Et cetera. Yay, OJ Dash gifted 10 subs. Short has been living in Athens because his wife is Greek and lives in Athens. So he lives with his wife. Gotta live somewhere. Either she had to move to England or he had to move to Athens. That, that, those were the options. He's been married for over 30 years, I think, Nigel. Yeah, I think his, daughter's, his daughter Kvali's in her 20s and he has a son, I think. Yeah. Right, the thing is, Hikaru, for reasons that are beyond my understanding, when he, when, like, if I don't like somebody, I either don't talk to them or I tell this stream I don't like them. And then, you know, you guys are like, why don't you like them? All right, because I know. And when Hikaru doesn't like somebody, you know, you better watch it. he come get you. So he holds a grudge. He's like, let's get rid of their channel. Let's, you know, let's talk bad about them forever. I mean, you know, it's, it's like in Ocean's Eleven. He bankrupted his brother-in-law's car dealership. I mean, you know, you got to let it go. He gets into too many squabbles where he should be holding a grudge and being mad at people. But, you know, what are you going to do? I had a really good... I, I got Hikaru good ones. I went on to IC. This is 20 years ago. I was on ICC. Let's see. It wasn't 20 years ago. Hikaru was like 33. So it was 15 years ago. 15 years ago, I'm on ICC. And my friend Aviv is analyzing a game with a couple people. And one of them is a guest. And Aviv says to me, they don't know he said it to me. He said, oh, by the way, guest, whatever, that's a car. And I said, okay. So we're analyzing. And the guest was like this. And I was like, no, this. And it, I was right, which is unusual. And after analyzing, Hikaru realized I was right and he was wrong, which is unusual. And he doesn't know that I know it's a Karu. So I started typing some good shit in the chat. I was like, man, you let these guests, you know, analyze chess with you, Aviv. That's the problem. Unknown people. The guy's probably a beginner. And I was like, you know, tear him a new one. 
And then the guest sent me a message and said, do you know who I am? Now, he doesn't know that I know it's him. Now, about a year before that, at one of the Nationals tournaments, Hikaru got into an argument with a USCF official. He was trying to get special treatment, and they were like, we can't do that. And Hikaru said, do you know who I am? Right, to this person. <clears throat> and I knew that. He didn't know that I knew that, that story either. So when he said, you know who I am, I said, I know who you are, just like this USCF official knows who you are. And he laughed. <laughs> oh, man, I got him good. He's really good at chess. It's too bad he has to act like that. What, what, what Akaru needs to do, and he never will, is what Rex does. Rex has a lot of money, and Rex loves chess. So he has a chess club, and he has other people run it. And then he sits in his mansion, right? And he goes to the club and plays chess sometimes. And he hangs out with Kasparov and the mayor and the governor and the president and, you know, like that. And that's what Akaro needs to do. Akaro should play chess and shut the fuck up. And that's, that would work out great because he's 3,500. That would be some great chess. And then if there's any kind of issues, that just his people take care of that. But he gets really involved with what's going on. So that takes away from his chess. You know, instead of playing good chess, he's... Mad at me, he's mad at Chespra, he's mad at Botez, he's mad, whatever, he's mad at somebody. You know, he's mad at Danny Wrench, I don't know. He's mad at the people in his chat, you know, who were saying stuff to, you know. I mean, I mean, me, it doesn't matter. My best years were 20 years ago. I can't play chess anymore at all. I lose to 1200s. But I mean, he could still be, you know, he could still win these big tournaments online and win a lot of money. But he spends a lot of his time on nonsense. That's what, that's what people are for. They're supposed to do the nonsense for you. And he's really involved in the nonsense. So you got to get rid of that nonsense. Yeah. I don't know what the story is with, with the car in St. Louis. I actually don't know. I know St. Louis hates me. Not surprising. I mean, I think St. Louis hated me when they liked me. Now I think they like me now that they hate me. It's complicated. Yeah. If I was on Facebook, I would say it's complicated. See, that would be a good question. I don't know the answer to this question. If you talk to the most important people in St. Louis, Rex and others, and said, who do you dislike more, Ben or Akaru? Normally, I could tell you the answer, like depending on what year it was. I don't, actually don't know now. Don't know. I'm trying to think if I could figure it out, and I can't. Don't know. Truth hurts. I don't know who Chess Bay is. I can't tell you anything about Chess Bay. I don't know why she has money. I don't know what... I, I know that she likes poker also, because we've talked about it. But I don't know... I, I don't know who she is. So I can't, I can't give you any information. I got nothing. Yeah, if St. Louis knew who I was, then something... Yeah. I mean, after knowing me for, you know, two, three, four years, everybody hates me. Then they go on to somebody else. That's, you know, typical. It's hard to know anybody for years and not hate them. It's just, you know, people are easy to hate. You know, fighting is just silly. Hikaru is just fist fighting and fighting when he's drunk. That has nothing to do with... Uh, you know, he wants to fight people. That's just silly. We're adults. Yeah. Yeah, probably the St. Louis pizza is the reason everybody hates everybody. Yeah. Anyway, for the most part, the drama is over because they unstriked Chess Bra's video. So... You know, uh, I guess what's going to happen, if it hasn't already happened, is, you know, Hikaru is going to have to respond to all the all the stuff that Hansen said today. 
I mean, for like three and a half hours, Hanson dissed Hikaru. So, you know, and rightfully so. So I don't know. The, th the thing is, as Hanson pointed out, if, if they may call kissy kissy, you know, in two, three, four months, there's going to be some other nonsense, you know. Maybe maybe Akaro's going to go back to, you know, say something bad about Aronian or something. You know, oh, you shouldn't come to the U.S. because what about Shankland and Zhang? Maybe I won't play in the next Olympiad, so one of them plays. You know, I don't know. See, that's, as Val Kilmer said, that's just his game. Like, Hikaru's game now would be to say bad things about Aronian once he starts playing for the U.S. Because that's a competitor, right? Hikaru's, you know, he's sitting there being Hikaru, and then Aronian shows up. So Hikaru's not going to like that. <clears throat> On the other hand, 95% <clears throat> of Hikaru is playing online, and he kicks Aronian's ass online. So maybe he doesn't care. You know, in real life, then it's close, but... Online, you know, blitz and bullet, he crushes Aronian. Yeah. I've never met the Botez sisters. I don't know who they are. I've never see I don't know where they live or see them in real life. Nothing. <clears throat> yeah, video game pianist is the best. But yeah, I mean I mean Eric's stream today was the best. That was a great stream. Yeah. Yeah, I, I all the GMs know each other. Yeah. I'm not better online or in real life. I'm bad at both. It's not clear what Magnus thinks about Akaru because Magnus is joking a lot. So I don't know. I mean, if I was a betting man, I would think Magnus thinks Hikaru is a dick. But he doesn't care that much. He's like, yeah, he's a dick. So I know a lot of dicks. That's, that's what I'm assuming he thinks. But I don't know. But yeah, I mean, Magnus has a good sense of humor. He's pretty funny. Magnus is too smart. Magnus is too smart. Eh? You know, Magnus likes to have a good time. Yeah. You won't regret it. Dennis Boros is a nice, funny guy. I like Dennis. Yeah. Did Simon Williams really knock out Nakamura? Um... I heard about this a long time ago. Um, I think they fought and I think he punched him out, but I don't know. And obviously it's just intoxication. It's not, you know, Hikaru's not looking for fights, physical fights. Uh, most people aren't, but you know, if Hikaru's at a tournament and he's had too many to, too much to drink, Maybe he's looking for fights. I don't know. I haven't seen a car in a long time because, you know, the pandemic and, you know, people move around such. But, yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes when people drink too much, there's some fights, you know. But yeah. <laughs> That's funny, Gus. Uh, 500 cents to do is from Fen Beingold. Go Rick and Morty. Carl likes Rick and Morty. Bishop d3, c4, bishop d4, black was equal or better. What? Say what? Who has the better, bigger drinking problem, Naka or Hansen? I think... As of 2021, neither one of them has a drinking problem. But again, I don't ever see either one. So, you know, I don't know. As far as I know, you know, those guys aren't just drinking all the time. Yeah, I don't know why Hikaru accuses everybody of cheating. Komsky likes to do that too. 
One of the reasons could be there's a lot of people cheating. That could be one of the reasons. But yeah. If a caro accuses somebody of cheating, they're probably cheating. But if a caro accuses Andrew Tang or Hansen of cheating, he's wrong. But if he accuses, you know, random people of cheating, he's probably right. Probably. Frankly. Yeah. Kasparov, I like his chess. You know. <laughs> 200 cents to dues. Yeah. No, I, I, I saw that. Yeah. Spencer Bledsoe. What? Go Perrier. It's Karen. My favorite Super Bowl halftime show? I don't know, Lady Gaga maybe. Something. <laughs> what rank would you give a car for best in the world? I mean, at his best in slow chess, he was second or third in the world. And now he's not, you know, he's older now. He's probably second best in the world at Blitz and Bullet. Yeah. The Any Blue Sky gifted five subs. I think Hikaru's better online than over the board in Blitz and Bullet. Like, if you took the top 50 rated players in the world and had him play over the board Blitz and Bullet, I don't know how Hikaru would do. He could come in first or 10th. But if it was online, he ain't coming in 10th. He's coming in first or second. So I think he's better online. It's not to say he's not good in real life, but I think online he's just better compared to other people. Probably because he's played more. Probably. No, but Hikaru lives in a really good time for Hikaru. Imagine Hikaru was Hikaru, but it was like 1960. I mean, 1970, 1980. 1990. Nobody cares about Blitz and Bullet. and Nobody cares about that. All they cared about was slow chess. And now, more people care about Blitz, Bullet, and Rapid. And 960. So this is Akaru's time to shine. I mean, he's really good at those. Levy and Anna's talents. They have talents. Go slow chess. I don't know, Levy. I don't, I, you know, I got nothing. People like his channel. Go Mama Jarov. Yeah. I don't know Anna Rudolph, but I'm sure she's nice. But I've never met her. I'm sure she's nice. Yeah, actually, Hikaru is perfect in every way. I'm just jealous of him. You're right. I'm not jealous of anybody else who's better than me, just Takaru. Not jealous of Magnus or Fabi or Wesley. Any, just just Takaru. Anna Rudolph is the female Naka? N no. <laughs> She's the opposite of Naka in every way. I'm going to be told to cover the candidates, and I'm not going to want to, but I think Karen's going to make me. So I guess the answer is probably yes. Yeah. Who has more money, Hikaru or Danny Wrench? I don't know the answer to that question. If I was a betting man, I would say Hikaru. But I don't know. Eric Hansen and me are great. I I've done commentary with Eric several times in St. Louis. I've hung out with Eric in St. Louis. I've taught camps with him. He's one of the nicest guys ever. Yeah. I have no idea how much money Hikari runs from Twitch. I got no idea. I don't know how much he pays his people either. So I don't know. Yeah, if Karen tells me I have to cover the candidates, then I will. Yeah. Candidates are divorced. I guess I'm doing the candidates. Yeah. 
Have you met Eric Rosen? I've known Eric Rosen for many years. And also, uh, he was our, he was our uh, web guy. He helped uh, design our website and our logo. I've known Eric Rosen forever. Does Alex Senko have a chance to win? No. Where aren't I better at chess? Uh, I mean, if I knew that, I'd be better at chess. Is Hikaru married? God damn. The only way Hikaru's going to get married is if they legalize marrying yourself. Da -da -da. You guys like that, huh? You like simple jokes. The wrestling match with Eric and Akaru was Eric just making sure Akaru couldn't do anything. Just like hold him down until he stops. That's that was the wrestling match. Ali Rez is pretty good. Wow. <laughs> Should I give him a noogie? <laughs> yeah, Rose, Rose, I mean, even though the people in Twitch who are Hikaru fans and XQC fans and critical fans who really dislike me, you know, those people. In the chess world, it's very rare that an IM or GM would dislike me in, in the real world. If I go to a tournament like the Chicago Open or World Open or, you know, National Open where there's a lot of IMs and GMs, I mean, we all like each other. That's, you know, that's, you know, the other GMs are like, ah, Ben Feingold, I hate him, but I like everybody else. That's, that's just on Twitch. You know, I got to be entertaining on Twitch. The more entertaining you are, the more people hate you. So nobody hates Eric Rosen. Bam! Gotcha, Eric. No entertainment value. Yeah, and this is the problem with Seinfeld. Most comedians are very, you know, mean. They say shit. And then, you know, Jerry Seinfeld doesn't. He's just like boring, you know, so he's not funny. So he's just, he's not funny. And then people who are, you know, say interesting stuff, those guys are funny. So, yeah. And still, you know, when Jerry Seinfeld was 50, he was dating a kid. So, you know, still he's no good. You know, still a bad person. And harsh. What's the deal with chess? Yeah. Exactly. Larry David's funny. Yeah, I've known Maurice forever. Forever. Yeah, yeah, I like Maurice. Forever. Forever. Five hundred cents to Jews. Man, that sounds like me, Fen buying gold. I don't know what you're talking about, but I agree. Time for Thai food. Yeah, I mean, I like Thai food. I mean, I like Indian food. I, you know, I'm I like Perrier. That's what I like. Sorry. Man, Thai food, Indian food, Perrier. Also, go Karen. Hey, Karen, is, uh, I don't know if she can hear me. Is, is Spencer there? Chess Bros Live. God damn. Do I know a lot about Motown? I don't know a lot about Motown. I know a little bit. Oh, yeah, Yasser has tons of, of interesting stories. Everybody loves Yasser. I don't think anybody hates Yasser in the whole world. I don't think so. 
I've never played Kasparov. Everybody loves Yasser. Yeah, Yasser's the best. Swears like a sailor, but not on, not on camera. Go, Yasser. What's my favorite Indian dish? You named Indian dishes I can't eat. I'm a vegan. I'm sure I'd like them. I like all Indian food. Indian food goes in here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yes, it was great. Yeah. Naraditsky, everybody likes Naraditsky, except I guess sometimes Naka doesn't like him. But everybody likes Naraditsky. Everybody. Yay, it's our second train. Everybody likes Eric Hansen. Everybody likes Naraditsky. I mean, everybody likes Yasser. Yeah. How do you not like, you know, Naraditsky? How? Not even possible. Yeah. Naraditsky's the best. Yeah. Nope, I've never played, you know, whatever. 500 cent to do's. Everybody loves Caruana. Everybody loves Wesley. Yeah. Everybody loves Hess. Yeah. Yeah, I have a lot of Kasparov stories. Does Wesley like Hikaru? I mean, Wesley seems to like everybody. Probably. Thanks for all the donations and stuff. Everybody loves Raymond. Everybody hates Chris. I know some TV shows. Oh, yeah. Hess and Naraditsky, Ramon and Eric. I mean, it's the same. Yay, the more you donate, the more nonsense I can talk about. Anyway, w one of the points I wanted to get to was it doesn't really matter, you know, who you like or don't like or if you believe me or you believe other people. What matters is, you know, you shouldn't be given strikes to people who do chess for a living who are your, you know, fellow GMs. I mean, if, if you're mad at the fellow GM for whatever they're doing – that you gotta you gotta take care of that behind the scenes. You should you know he should talk to Eric, talk to Danny Wrench, you know and you know and whatever figure it out, not copyright strike. So even if you're the biggest Takaru fan in the world, you, you shouldn't be copyright striking Eric Hansen. I mean you can't do that. Obviously you shouldn't do it to me either, but that's more understandable. I'm not you know. Nobody cares if I get a copyright strike. But, you know, you can't, you know, Eric Hansen, come on. Terrible. Yeah. See, that's the thing. That's the thing Eric is mad about. A lot of the chat says Hikaru didn't know about it. Hikaru didn't initiate it. Eric Hansen does not agree with that. I don't know if he's right, but Eric says Hikaru did know about it and he didn't initiate it. So... So even if you're in a if you're an Akaru fan, and he did know about it, initiate it, you know, then you're like, wait a minute, that you can't do that. Yeah, I don't know. I I'm telling you what I'm telling you what they said. I'm telling you what Chesbra said, and that's what he said. I say something. You know, something. I don't. I don't go out of my way to look at stuff on the internet. I don't look at other people's streams and then talk about it. That's their stream. I don't know what's legal and what's not legal, what you're supposed to do. So I just do nothing. That way I can't get in trouble. And we still got in trouble. Yeah. I don't do nothing. I, you know, I play bad chess. Thanks for the donation. Yeah. Hanson pretty mad today. Yeah. I mean, you, you you know, if if Hanson loses his his YouTube channel 
because of things Akaru did, it's, it's, you know, that's, you can't, you can't take away a YouTube channel of fellow Grandmaster. Come on. That's ridiculous. Especially, especially chess bras. Jesus Christ. If it was me, okay, then, you know. You got you, see you 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 got to attack people that are already hated. You can't you know you can't find the most beloved and then attack them. That you, know, you got to watch it. Yeah, now, I know Aman is is live now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the thing is, the thing is, the other thing that Eric doesn't like, other than the supposed lying about what happened. Nine ninety nine. Thanks on Superman. The other thing he doesn't like is is the hypocrisy that you know Hikaru does a lot of things that he complains other people do. So I mean, I mean, Chespro is like, come on, you can't say they did it and then you did it because you know supposedly I wasn't there for this. I don't know. Hikaru was furious. When something happened to their channel because of like Chess Base India, you know, you can't copyright strike me, you know, and then he, you know. And a lot of what Hikaru uses, he shouldn't be doing. I don't play music because you're not supposed to play music. And there is music you can play, and that's fine. Then there's music you shouldn't play. And he plays the music you shouldn't play. Okay, and then I don't, because then, you know, I don't want to play music. I want you to listen to me. Play music, play your own music. But, you know, somebody made that music, so I don't play music when I stream. And I put all of my videos on YouTube, so if we played music, that would be quite complicated. So I don't play music. But, yeah, I mean, Hikaru's always looking at other people's streams and playing music, so to say somebody else has to get a copyright strike is absurd. That's ridiculous. I mean, it's been taken away, so hopefully that's the end of it. Hopefully Eric never loses his channel. Hopefully the Faruja one goes away too. And then we're the only ones who are going to complain then. Or care well. As long as we're complaining, that's important. Go hype train. No, I mean, Hikaru shouldn't be so involved in the, non, the non-chess stuff. Hikaru should have a team of good people. And a car should be 3,700 at chess at the end. But instead, he gets involved with, uh, you know, the goings-on of other people. That guy cheated. That channel did this. You know, come on. You, get, you got bigger fish to fry. See, and again, that's, that's what Rex does. Rex, Rex says chess club, and I'll, 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 I'll be home watching my big TV. Right? He doesn't you – know, Rex isn't doing the day-to-day -day decisions in St. Louis. Because he'd be furious, right? And that's what's happening with Hikaru. He gets furious a lot because of the day to, he's he's part of the day to day what goes on. You can't, you know, you can't do that. You gotta, you know, he's he's too important for that. But he likes getting involved in that, so yeah, can't do that. That's why these guys all have managers and teams and stuff because you can't, you know. Imagine like Fabiano was negotiating with Tata Steel and let's say he wanted a $10,000 appearance fee and they offered him 3000 You know, Fabiano might, you know, go postal. So he just, you know, you have people that take care of that so you don't get mad about it. And then your people tell you what happened. Like you're getting 8000 All right, that's you know, whatever. That's what you get. You know, you can't be, you know, you can't, you, you can't do everything. He's good at chess. Let other people do the other stuff. 200 cents to do's, et cetera. Yeah. Well, I just made the number up, but yeah, I'm sure that that's reasonable. Yeah. The more money you get paid, the better you play. Yeah. Go Katy Perry. Um, no, he's not, he's not going to remove the strike from my channel. No way. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen, what does going postal mean? In America, many years ago, in the city of Royal Oak, Michigan, one of the, uh, thanks for the nine ninety nine, one of the uh, postal employees decided to shoot a lot of people. And so 
for a while there was it was called going postal when you were when you shot up people at work. And in fact, there was a store, I don't think it exists anymore, but it might. There was like a UPS store or a FedEx Kinkos. It was called Going Postal. Yeah. Go Royal Oak. Who'd win a fight, Hikaru or Lennox Lewis? What? Uh, not Hikaru. Yay, hype train. Hooray. Yeah. Drunk on Thai food. No. Yeah. Welcome to Pop Copy. May I help you? And my butt was itching. And I took a shower. Hey, I don't play that shit. I'll go to Rikers for three or four years just to prove a point. Can I help you? Yeah, Chappelle show's great. No, you, you don't, you know, that's just drunk stuff. That's not, you know, that's not something. Yeah. Yeah, adults don't fight each other. That's just silliness. Yeah. Go Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Conditions used to be poor. It keeps it real like that. I don't like people playing on my phone. All right. Thanks for watching and hype training and streaming and all that stuff. And so forth. Yeah. All right. Everybody go bother the chess bras now. I've streamed long enough for no chess. And, you know, I'll probably do some chess tomorrow. All right, thanks everybody for all the donations. 99% uh, of the time I mention everybody, but I was too busy ranting and raving and, and so forth, mainly and so forth. So go watch him on and get, get his take on what's going on. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye everyone. Thanks again.